what is wrong with us Kenyans? And why I'm asking this is uh, because uh, uh, you, you have told us that we are the, the users in Kenya, I mean, we are number one in the world, the ones who are using the TikTok app. And also, it, when the, the other day we were discussing about uh, world coin in, in the parliament, and it was actually, the, the, this one was uh, is registered elsewhere, it's registered in the US, and in the US it's not being, it has, it has, it, it's banned. So uh, what is, is it a culture? Mm -hmm. Is it our laws? What is wrong with us? What is wrong with Kenya? Is it that we are lacking in regulation? Is it that we are lacking in morality? Why are we just embracing everything? I think the uh, example you have cited about uh, world coin and the madness that we saw is a good example. I said in my re opening remarks, Mr. Chairman, that we are at the verge of losing our country. If we lose our youth, if we create a catch of anything cause where we are concentrating more on building the hardware but forgetting the software of our moral values, these are the results. Depression, uh, my sister Esther was talking about it, and uh, uh, Bravin, and the dangers of addiction in these platforms. And uh, the, the, I think there is uh, some, some crave, I think it's our catch as Kenyans, to embrace anything new, even when it is negative. I think if there was a bomb blast, God forbid, instead of people running away, they want to run and see. We are, we are wired in a way that, uh, uh, like I think Michael Joseph, the former chairman of Safaricom said, we are peculiar. We are peculiar in our behavior. But chairman, our concern is not the adults who are peculiar in the manner in which they behave. It is how we model the values of our children. And I think that's why we are before this committee. To say that we cannot afford to neglect the power of social media in shaping the values of our children. While we can't take away technology from our children, it is the responsibility of the manufacturers and the software developers and those who develop such platforms to ensure that they, are, they comply with the laws of Kenya. I think Wakili Osewe has said, has talked about the unconstitutionality of the use of TikTok the soliciting of sex and the prostitution, uh, the, uh, the, the, the addictive nature of it that the professor talked about, and the likelihood of many children being hooked into this thing in the guise of making money. A research needs to be done to show exactly how much money are people uh, making out of TikTok compared to the other platforms.